How's it going, everybody? My name is Matt Meir, uh, and I'm a real estate agent here in Asheville, North Carolina, but you already know that. We're here in the Grove Park neighborhood, which is actually one of my favorite communities in Asheville. It's home to the Grove Park Inn, which is one of the most historic hotels in the Southeast United States. Um, just to give you a quick rundown on this type of neighborhood, median age is about 39 years old, so it's a family neighborhood. Uh, average price point's about $710,000, so that's the median area. You're gonna find a lot of homes that are 1.5 million and above, and then down to about 500,000 and below on the other sections. As you can see, we're in the area of the neighborhood that has sort of like your standard homes. These homes go for about 400,000 to about 600,000. <clears> Still a very quaint and nice neighborhood. One of the best things is this nice little bench here. There's uh, a book stand down the street that's a free book exchange. It's really cool. Uh, a lot of people just place their books in there and take one out. It's a nice community thing. So it's a really great neighborhood if you're looking for that community feel. You'll find a lot of cool architecture in this neighborhood too. So we have a house right here that has a sort of traditional slash bungalow style home. And if you don't know, Asheville has a lot of arts and crafts style home. About 17% of the luxury market actually sells arts and crafts style. Most of it is traditional, but out of the 241 sales this last year we had, was 17% uh, arts and craft. So now we're on Kimberly Avenue, which is one of the famed streets in Asheville. It's very, very popular because of the homes that are on the street, and also it's a street that leads into the Grove Park Inn. One of the biggest things about Kimberly is Halloween. So when you come down here for Halloween, you'll see a ton, a ton of trick-or-treaters just go up and down the street, mostly because these houses have the best candy available but also it's just so beautiful. So the idea of the Grove Park Inn was that it was a community that was gonna be built by a guy named E.W. Grove. And in the 1900s, way early, 1913, the hotel was built. As far as the neighborhood, the Grove Park neighborhood was built before the inn. And uh, it was all owned by E.W. Grove and he came in and built all these houses. So a lot of these houses are from 1910s. So they are very old as far as them being remodeled. A lot of these homes have been remodeled because it's just a matter of staying competitive when you go to sell in the market. But there are some that are still original, of course, like every other community. It's also a golf community because of the, the hotel. <laughs> it's a uh, Donald Ross golf course, so it's 18 holes. It's very nice. You should go golf on it. A good thing about Asheville is that a lot of the homes are built with privacy in mind because of the spacing of lots now the grove park community because it was built by ew grove back in the 1910s it was all sort of planned out and basically a grid now i will say the community as far as listing prices have gone over the past 10 years at one point median list value was very very high almost over a million dollars uh, since then it's fallen about four hundred thousand. so that sort of indication can be that market prices in this area are falling but could bump up in the future or they continue to fall. That would lead me to believe it's a buyer's market in this area due to the falling listing prices. So with that being said, if you're thinking about buying in Asheville, the Grove Park area might be a considerable investment because prices will appreciate once again and they're low right now. So I would definitely think about it. Anyways, that is my splooch for the day. If you guys enjoy this video, remember to like it, comment, share it, and uh, I will see you in the next one.